I'm here with Steve Nicholson, Chief Football Writer of the Derby Telegraph at the Rams Training Ground. Steve, um, you've just spoken to Darren Wassell ahead of the Nottingham Forest match tomorrow and um, he's covered a number of topics, obviously one of them being the recent arrival of Harry Redknapp. Yeah, I mean, it's been a busy week, hasn't it? You know, <laughs> the, uh, the game at Rotherham seems a long time ago now, uh, where Derby dominated for 80 minutes and then fell apart in the final 10 minutes. Uh, but yes, Harry Redknapp's on board as football advisor. Uh, we spoke to Harry yesterday. He's very positive about the, the appointment and is really looking forward to it. Uh, Darren Wassell today said he was delighted to have Harry Redknapp on board. He said, who wouldn't want Harry Redknapp at the club? Given his experience, he says he's given everybody a lift around the place. So, you know, Harry Redknapp is a very experienced football person and I'm absolutely sure once he kind of watches the team for a few games and gets his feet under the table, he, he will offer, you know, valuable advice to Darren. If Darren wants to take it on board, and I'm sure Darren will because he, he listens to all of his coaches uh, in his coaching team. So, you know, hopefully Harry Redknapp will just kind of settle into the coaching staff and... Uh, give that kind of advice that Derby may well need in the running. Darren was also asked about the incident involving Jason Shackle at the end of the Rotherham game. Yeah, I mean, you know, losing three goals late on as Derby did at Rotherham was, was bad enough, but unfortunately there was video footage, as, as we all know, of, of, of Jason and leaving the pitch uh, at Rotherham and uh, it appeared to have a heated exchange with, with Darren Wassell. Uh, the good thing is, and it's always the best thing in these situations, is to, is to kind of draw a line under it immediately. Darren explained that uh, Jason phoned him on Sunday morning to apologise. Uh, we all know that things like that should stay in the dressing room, not out in public. But we also know it's a very emotional game, football, and things can get heated and things can be said. So, but uh, they've put that to bed now. Uh, and uh, Darren Wassell said, well, you know, we carry on, no problems at all. Uh, as he said, Jason had apologised to him and, and they move on to the next game. The next game being, of course, um, Nottingham Forest at home tomorrow, uh, lunchtime kick-off. And um, what did uh, Darren say about that? Yeah, I mean, Darren Wassell's been involved in these games. Obviously, he was involved as a player. Uh, you know, he, he played in Nottingham Forest, he played, played at Derby County. He always had this extra spice to these matches. I mean, Darren Wassell and Paul Williams, who's in charge of uh, Forest to the end of the season, were, were Rams teammates against Forest. Uh, so, you know, everyone knows what the game is about. You know, Darren said that they've had a really positive week's training here. The players are really looking forward to it. They know that if they perform as they can, if they perform as they did in the first 80 minutes against Rotherham, they can win the game. But we also know this game throws up other things as well. And earlier this season, Derby were on a great run when they went to the city ground. Forest was struggling badly and Forest won the game 1-0 and deservedly won the game. Derby didn't really turn up that night. Forest set up very well. You know, the, the, the tactical plan worked to a treat. They never let Derby settle. They got in and around them in midfield, gave them no time and space at all. So Derby have got to be aware of that. Uh, but, you know, Darren Russell said they've got a full squad to pick from, which means Johnny Russell is fit again after the weekend. And everybody at the club, he said, is really, really looking forward to the game.